Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x to the power 9 plus x to the power 8 plus x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4 plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. From these two terms x to the power 9 plus x to the power 8 we can factor out x to the power 8 and in bracket left x plus 1. And from these two terms, uh, x to the power 5 plus x to the power 4, we can factor out uh, plus x to the power 4. In bracket left, uh, x plus uh, 1. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out plus 1. In bracket left, uh, x plus uh, 1 is equal to 0. Now this x plus 1 is a common factor, so we factor out this uh, x plus uh, 1 and uh, in bracket left uh, x to the power 8 plus uh, x to the power 4 plus uh, 1 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x plus uh, 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x to the power 8 plus uh, x to the power 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to negative 1. This is the first value of x. This is the first solution of uh, this equation. To find the other solutions uh, we solve this equation. This x to the power 8 can be written as uh, x to the power 4 whole squared. Plus uh, we can write this x to the power 4 as uh, 2x to the power 4 plus 1 and minus x to the power 4. By using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared. This x to the power 4 squared plus 2x squared plus 1 will become x to the power 4 plus 1 whole squared minus this x to the power 4 can be written as x squared whole squared. Now we have difference of two squares so we apply this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This will become x to the power 4 plus 1 plus x squared times x to the power 4 plus 1 minus x squared is equal to 0. From here either this expression x to the power 4 plus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x to the power 4 minus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. We can find 8 solutions by solving these two equations. First we solve this one. This x to the power 4 can be written as x squared whole squared plus this x squared is same as 2x squared plus 1 minus x squared is equal to 0 and uh, by using this algebraic identity a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared this uh, x squared whole squared plus uh, 2x squared plus 1 will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this x squared and by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b this will become x squared plus 1 plus x times x squared plus 1 minus x is equal to 0. From here either this expression x squared plus uh, x plus 1 is equal to 0 
or this expression x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 and x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this 1 minus 4 will become negative 3 divided by 2 and this will become x is equal to negative 1 plus minus i times root 3 divided by 2 this is second and third value of x so for now we have uh, three solutions for this equation now from this equation according to quadratic formula x is equal to positive 1 plus or minus square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 and x is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 4 will become negative 3 divided by 2 and from here we get 4th and 5th value of x is equal to 1 plus minus this root negative 3 will become i times root 3 divided by 2. So for now we have 5 solutions for this equation. We solve the second case. In the second case we have this equation x to the power 4 minus x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. This x to the power 4 can be written as x squared whole squared. And we can rewrite this negative x squared as plus 2x squared plus 1 and negative 3x squared is equal to 0. This is a perfect square x squared squared plus 2x squared plus 1 will become x squared plus 1 whole squared minus this 3x squared can be written as a root 3 times x whole squared is equal to 0. And we have difference of two squares, so we use this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So this will become x squared plus 1 minus root 3 times x times uh, x squared plus 1 plus uh, root 3 times x is equal to 0. And from here we have two cases either this expression x squared minus root 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus uh, root 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. First we solve this case according to quadratic formula x is equal to positive root 3 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared, we write in negative root 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 and x will be equal to root 3 plus or minus square root of this uh, negative root 3 squared will become positive 3 minus 4 times 1 times 1, 4, divided by 2. Next, x is equal to root 3, 
plus or minus this will become root negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to root 3 plus or minus root uh, negative 1 will become i divided by 2 this is uh, 6 and 7th value of x so for now we have uh, 7 solutions for this equation now we solve the remaining case uh, this equation x squared plus uh, root 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0 we copy this equation here x squared plus uh, root 3 times x plus 1 is equal to 0. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative root 3 plus or minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write uh, root 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1 and uh, x is equal to negative root 3 plus or minus square root of this uh, root 3 squared is uh, 3 and 3 minus 4 negative 1 divided by 2 from here we get uh, two values of x x 8 and 9th is equal to negative root 3 plus or minus this root negative 1 will become i divided by 2 and first we found that uh, x1 is equal to negative 1 so we have uh, 9 solutions for this equation first one is negative 1 second and third is uh, negative 1 plus uh, i times root 3 over 2 4 and 5 is uh, 1 plus minus i times uh, root 3 over 2 and 6th uh, and 7th is uh, root 3 plus minus i over 2 and 8th uh, and 9th is uh, negative root 3 plus minus i over 2